Yeah, hi. Um, in this session, uh, I would like to show you on how to um, check the day-to-day -day, uh, reports relating to the fixed assets. Yeah. So to check those, um, you need to go to the accounting and the fixed assets and information systems uh, reports and where you can check here the day-to-day -day activities. So under the day-to-day -day activities, you can see the asset international. Under international, you can see asset transactions, asset acquisitions, and retirements. So um, this is actually how I just go through with you one more time, and uh, you can see. So here, the financial accounting, fixed assets, and uh, the information systems reporting, and the day-to-day. After that, you need to select the international. So this is a, a where you can see under the easy access menu. So under the easy access, you can see all these reports which are, are relating to the daily reports. So these reports usually, what are the asset acquisitions during a, a specific period? or asset transactions, sorry, and then asset acquisitions, and then retirement. So these three reports can be used to check. So these reports will turn out to show you what are the acquisitions during a given period, and what are the retirements only during the given period for the assets. And under the asset transactions, you can see what are the transactions is even acquisitions, transfers, and also the retirements will be shown by the system. So now you click on the asset transactions. Then the system will show the input parameters. So you can uh, specify the specific period and the reporting date. So the reporting date can be anything. Then you can check ALV grid or if it is an ALV grid, then the system will show in a different view, like an ALV view. And if you see, click on Execute, the system will show the transactions in the normal list. So you can check by the group totals. Like, let's say if you have, and the grouping will be done by the system. So here, in this report, you can actually check the information here what is the acquisition, sorry, and uh, what is the acquisition and what is the document. So here, if you see APC, this is the APC and what is the value adjustment and the value adjustment is nothing but the depreciation. Yeah, so this will be the financial documents will be shown here under, under here. So you can see the posting date and also the asset value date. So the posting date when this document is posted, yeah, and then asset value date is the is when the started the depreciation for the transaction. So for each transaction, the system will actually do the depreciation. So here and this, if you want to see at the asset level, you just need to click here. If you don't want to see the documents, let's say you want to see a summarized view, the system can show the summarized view by asset number. So you just need to click on here, this is the icon. So um, this is where um, see the detailed view or a summarized view by the system. So under the layout, you have a different options here. This is a header position and you can adjust and you can add what the information is needed and when you go to the position where you have the transaction level, so you can add the information what is needed and what is not needed. So yeah, this is how the report shows. So once you check, if you double click on this, this is having a drill down option. So when you double click on it, then the system automatically show you the document which is actually posted. So you click on choose, then uh, the system will show what is the financial document posted 
using the transaction relating to the fixed asset so this is the transaction you can see this is the cost and 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 also the accumulated depreciation and we transfer the asset from here to here if you see that this is the asset transfer from 3015 to 1001 so if you go back uh, yeah so you can see so if you see there is a 3015 here so there is a asset transfer from one to one which is happened here so you can see it is actually minus out this is the same document what we are seeing up here if you look at here so you can see this is the same document in the financial document which is a debited asset under 1001 asset and actually credited here and for the asset here is 13015 and the depreciation is reversed out from this asset and transferred to the other asset back there if you see this is where it is transferred so let's say if you want to filter it out um, by this document you can just filter it out and see the information here uh, for this uh, um, uh, document if you look at here so this is where the system will show the information so yeah hope you understand how the transactions work here so this is a simple transaction which I showed you for only the uh, transactions and you can filter using a different transactions and to see and this is the options uh, this is a what you call the icons you can use it to adjust it and you double click on this each of these the system will route it to the asset explorer so this is called a drill down reporting yeah so the drill down reporting is much is uh, friendly useful and then if you check the assets and everything okay and you come back to the main report so this is how you can check the daily transactions um, relating to the asset transactions now let's go to the acquisitions so when you double click on the acquisitions and you choose here so click on execute so now you can see the acquisitions so the, under the acquisitions the system is showing all the acquisitions during the specific period so on, on the reporting date the system will show what are all the acquisitions done so these are the acquisitions so it can be a transfer via transfer or if you see here 1001 is here but uh, let's see which is any retirement is showing here which is a minus out also so this is acquired between one asset to another asset like a transfer and it is also shown here by the system in the asset report so this is how you can check the asset transactions so the asset transactions also work same as uh, um, the other report where you're seeing um, here if you look at this is asset transactions so you can use this option to minimize and the, the all the option in the header will be same um, mostly same and uh, you can summarize view you can see and detail view also you can see for the fixed assets now you go back so now let's go to the retirements so so return the, if the system shows this it is first time you may be running this report so it will take some time so click on execute so now you can see here so this is the asset is actually the retired asset so the under retired uh, retirement the system only show what are the assets you have retired during the year for a given period so this is the reporting date so every report works based on the reporting date so this reporting date is very important when you are running the report so the system will show the data posted using a posting date and for those uh, specific transactions so you must be very careful when you're selecting 
and when you're doing the reporting whether quarterly or monthly or a, a different um, half yearly or yearly so you must be very careful while selecting the report so you can also choose here the depreciation area so the depreciation area also you can choose the depreciation areas what you have so currently we are only uh, showing a uh, book depreciation so let's say if you want a different depreciation area so you need to choose that specific depreciation area then the system will show the report so now let's say group currency then alv list i want to see so click on execute then system is not showing alv here because this is a most complex situation where system cannot turn the alv because of too many headers and different line items here so hope you understand on the day-to-day -day transactions and let's say on this reporting date you want to identify documents posted on a specific dates so here this is under the input parameters before running the report you can you can put the information here so um, when you put let's say you want to group it or a list also you can choose this and you can select any specific asset class also you can select and also if you have any short version you can also use the short version before running the report then the system will show a report and how you want so thank you guys